few All questions right. for you. Can can you do an interview for the video? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, the first question is, can you put the fedora on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, laughs> <so> okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kirsten and I go to OCC. Hi, I'm Pax. I'm Emily and I go to Azusa Pacific University in Azusa, California. I'm um, Caleb Buczynski. Nice, solid, okay. Uh, no longer a recruit. <laughs> right now I'm heading, uh, heading home from Marine Corps boot camp. I became a Marine. Um, going home for my 10 days of leave. Um, and coming to church, it's gonna be relaxing, kind of healing up, and then I'll be going back to training, learning some GI Joe stuff. Um, your part of tech. Probably the mission trips. Um, just being able to like prepare with um, a group of people that are committed and uh, dedicated to these group, and then uh, getting away from technology and the comforts of home, and um, really just expanding our boundaries together and uh, learning about that more. And, uh, what's your favorite part of Crossroads? Favorite part of Crossroads? Um, to be honest, I think Crossroads was probably like my favorite time of my entire life. Just because it was the time that like we're all kind of like getting to know each other and getting to know ourselves. And uh, like the journey together is just really um, very uh, unique. But it's also very um, stretching in the sense that like we all um, get to find like who we are in Christ and who we are in um, the people around us that are also finding themselves in Christ. My favorite thing, especially my freshman year, was the fact that we had um, multiple different people from different grades and um, different ages, um, boys and girls combined, because that way I got a lot of different perspectives on one specific issue. It wasn't just what I was feeling and what girls in my grade were all feeling about the same thing. It was about everyone's different point of view on different topics, and that was really cool for me because I'm someone who um, really like likes to challenge myself to be more open-minded um, on issues, um, and that's something you'll learn a lot more about in college, which is really cool. Um, so definitely um, get really plugged into CL2 once you're in Impact, um, because you'll get a lot out of everyone's perspectives and everyone's stories. Good, good. It's more than just a social event, and um, it's a place where you can really learn about God and just in a way that's not the you know, typical Sunday school like nuns smacking you with a ruler kind of way. Um, you know, I felt like it was very open and inviting, got you thinking about what you were reading. And, um, it's a good experience because the you know, people that are there, it's like, you know, it's fun with those people, but they're also growing in the same faith that you are, so it's... It's just a place for you guys to come together and really apply what you're learning at the same time. It's good. One thing is that everybody there is very friendly and don't be afraid to talk to people. People warm up quickly. Like I was very shy. That's one thing I kind of regret. I warmed up very slowly, but that was just me. But if I warmed up to the group faster, that would have been nice, because there's a lot of support, and don't be afraid to ask questions, because asking questions is a great way to connect. Continually, um, like, talk to new people and um, expand, like, your comfort zones, because when you get there, you're instantly going to want to, like, gravitate towards your friends, gravitate towards um, the leaders that you're already used to. Um, but I say like, um, jump out there and um, like talk to people that you normally don't talk to, play games if you normally don't play games. Um, in involve yourself and um, like answer questions when you normally don't talk or speak up. Um, Beliefs, um, but definitely be open to challenging your faith because that's when all the growth really starts to happen when you can, you know, look at something that you learned critically and say, okay, this was taught to me in, you know, fourth or fifth grade, and, you know, everyone says it's true, everyone believes it, but why is it true, and why do I believe it, and what kind of an application does this have to my life, and how can I, like, use it in my life and, you know, tell people that I believe 
that. Uh, relax and think like, oh, I'm all good with this. It's like, no, like, keep reading, keep, you know, staying in fellowship with, you know, your friends there. And it's, um, you know, don't ever let yourself get distracted to just, you know, always remember to have like some kind of you know, devotional at night, you know, do something to keep yourself kind of in contact with your faith. Don't ever go a day without it. Um, Cause yeah, there was days at boot camp where it was, you know, I didn't even get any time to like, you know, just pray to myself until I hit the rack and it was like, that day sucked. <laughs> like, um, so I definitely say just make something every day to be able to dedicate it to God. Um, that always make you know, my day a whole lot better. It's a great experience and it's a lot less scarier than it seems. Definitely a fun experience if you let it be. It's kind of like what you put into it, you get out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm more from it. Um, and even like, um, like I found myself like over the summer feeling like I was going through the motions a lot with, you know, like my devotionals and reading my Bible and stuff, but just making it more of a habit, um, kind of, I, I learned more from it because I was consistently doing it. So even though at times it felt like I, my heart wasn't in it, you know, I found things, you know, each week by keeping going, um, it just made it more of an opportunity to learn and grow. So even if you feel like you're not feeling it sometimes, like you push yourself to go you know if you are feeling like bogged down by school and life and that kind of stuff keep going um you know obviously if you have some kind of like impossible time conflict that's fine but like if you're just like i'm not feeling it this week keep going um because no matter what you'll learn something from it you'll have a great conversation with someone you'll learn something from the teaching um you'll have a good worship night or something like that and you'll be like i'm really glad i went tonight so okay. all right last thing uh how do you want impacting crosswords to be brain for you this year um, keep me close, keep me safe in my faith. Um, and that just helped me be you know, an example of somebody that's different throughout the Marine Corps. Um, just hold me accountable to that. Um, and that it's, um, God's providing. It's, you want to be white paint on a black wall? Yeah. <laughs> that's very much true. Awesome.